Hey guys, what's up? This is Steve with Craze TV. I released a video not too long ago about my issues with disc rot. Some of my DVDs are facing disc rot and will no longer play. It's a bad deal because as a collector, not having those DVDs play anymore is a travesty. I'm trying to find alternatives uh, how I can back up my DVD collection before more go bad and all that stuff. So I decided it's time I got to get I got to get my DVDs digitized. So what I did was I got the updated version of DVD Ripper Pro by Wonderfox. Excellent software and I'm going to walk you through what I'm doing because what I'm going to do is start digitizing my media and throwing it on a like one terabyte hard drive or well I'll, I'll probably have to have a couple ter more than one terabyte but I'm start I'm beginning to throw it on a one terabyte hard drive uh whatever I want to watch that night you know just just throw it on a thumb drive act you know and play it from my uh, smart TV with this software I can burn ISO files and save them for later in case um, I want to burn those back to a DVD. So hopefully they, they keep making blank DVDs so I can, I, I can have that choice of burning it back to a disc. The problem that I have that ticks me off, I own them, and now that they're going bad, I need a software that can break the copyright protection so I can digitize that. So far, I haven't run into any problems with copyright issues. Uh, I, I popped in software before and tried to rip it and it got blocked. I'm going to pop in. My name is Bruce. The Blu-ray is no longer available on the DVD. I don't know if it's still in print or not, but I'm going to digitize this because uh, it's just a hilarious movie with Bruce Campbell. Okay, I got some music DVDs I'm going to. I'm gonna rip before uh, before it goes bad, but yeah, Nevermore, The Year of the Voyager. I'm gonna I'm gonna rip that one. Of course, my favorite, Evergrey, Night to Remember, live DVD from Evergrey, 2004. I'm gonna digitize that one. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna pop these in and see how long it takes, and I don't know, go from there. So let's get let's get into this DVD Ripper Pro review and uh, walkthrough. All right, guys, so we got Wonder Fox DVD Ripper Pro pulled up now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the disc in. I just popped it in. Now I'm going to hit the DVD. Let's enhance. When enhance de decryption mode is on, the software will scan complete details of the DVD content to achieve stronger decryption. It has a stronger DVD. Okay, let's check this out. Now right here, you can see DVD disc, ISO image, DVD folder. Okay, it's adding the titles now on the DVD. Once all these titles are added, we'll have the option. One thing I like about this software, it makes it super easy just to make a copy um, if you don't want to mess with any settings, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here are the titles. So, this is the main movie right here. It's already checked. Obviously, if you scroll down, you'll see uh, some special features. Of course, I'm going to want that too. Uh, okay, so I have the main movie checked dvd it's 6.3 gigabytes on obviously a dual layer disc output file i can get it down to 2.1 mp mpg format i can click here closed captioning hard-coded subtitles i'm not going to mess with that and right here your is your output profile i could click main movie i could click iso this is what I have it set on. One quick copy. Here's custom. So if I take an MP4 and want to customize it, I can go over here to settings, click that. 
I got an encoder H H264. Keep original resolution, bit rate. I can change um, audio settings. You can do smart fit, but I think I would probably change these bit rates just to make sure I have a more high quality uh, rip. But yeah, so you can mess with these settings here. And what you have is all these different formats. So let's say you click video format. Here's all the video formats available. However, if you want to, if you want to narrow it down to like, like say iPhones, iPads, click these different brands here. Here's Samsung, you know, you got your Galaxy 9 uh, phone here, Note, uh, even TVs. Kind of cool. Uh, Amazon. So you got your choice of different fire tablets, different things like that. You got Sony. It's got all these different things, including projectors, which is really cool. So that is, that is your, your options for ripping. So let's go back to video. You also got 4K HT, H, HD video, lossless audio, which is cool. Got all these different audio functions which is awesome. So let's go to one. I'm going to do a quick copy of the main movie in MPG format. So let's uh, go ahead and run this. See how long it takes. All right, guys. So it only took a, a few minutes to to do 2.1 gigabytes. <laughs> boy, you weren't kidding. You really suck. Well, let's see how the city boy fares. All right. Hey, round we go. <laughs> so, yeah. so yeah, the DVD right, looks honey. great. <laughs> Only took a couple minutes. Everything's playing great. Right. That came. Nice to know that That's MPG oh. format yeah. copy. Now, obviously, if I want to compress it more or make it into the smart fit setting, it would take uh, even a shorter time. But I, I don't know. I like the quick copy setting. To be honest with you. All right, guys. So one thing I'm loving about this, I just put in uh, Nevermore Disc Two. The year of the Voyager to back that up. And what I'm finding is when I do the ISO file, I think I'm going to make two, two different files. I think I'm going to do a ISO file and then a MPG file. What I like about having the ISO file is I can take that into like Nero or some program and burn it to DVD later on. I just have a backup of it. But if you don't want to do that, let me show you the easiest way I found to to get all the files on the DVD itself. So right here it says there are multiple main titles detected in this DVD and all of them have been selected in order to get the full content. You need to convert all the main titles. So what I did with the Evergrey, I'll show you in a minute here, is instead of checking all this, I just go over here. And right here, this quick copy, I've been experimenting with this. And I could either do main movie, ISO, or DVD folder. And what I like about DVD folder, it gives it gives me everything. So I can convert it to whatever whatever I need. So let's let's do this. I want to demonstrate this right now. So I'm gonna go DVD folder, and here is year of the Voyager. Nevermore a concert uh, DVD set that I have. This is the disc two all in one folder. I backed up disc one. All right, transferred it to a thumb drive, but this is disc two. You can see everything is in here. And if I press play, you can see the video quality right here. But anyway. So 
That is it. All right, guys. So I just ripped Evergrey. I did the DVD folder so I could get everything. And here are all the files. And for seven point, let's see, what's the gigabyte? It said seven point something. Seven point seven two gigabytes. It only took eighteen minutes. So that's great timing. Let's check out the quality here real quick. The videos and stuff like that. Can't play much of it because of copyright. I just want to show you real quick. Okay, guys. So, <clears throat> so this is the disc two. This is all Evergrey's extras. This ain't even the con. This isn't the concert. That's on disc one. I accidentally, uh, for some reason, put in the extras first. But you can see all the extras are on here. here. Let's say I want to rip it to an iTunes video. And I wanted uh, higher quality. That only took a few seconds. Yeah, so here is the here's the M4V file. First question, Tom, is what did you actually do before you were in Evergreen? Uh, a, lot, a lot of different things. I was. It ripped really quick. Swords and. Swords. I mean, obviously, it wasn't a. a Big file, but that's how easy it is to rip to a iPhone format M4V file. I just went ahead and did high quality and let it rip to that format, and it looks great, it really does. I don't know what the 4K. Let me see what this does real quick. 3,840 times 2160. Let's see what it looks like in 4K. Obviously an upscale from 720 to 480. It might look weird, I don't know, but this is just for experimental purposes. Guys, so let's check this video out. What title? Oh, here's the title. Here's the regular DVD. Oh, yeah, you can definitely tell the difference in the audio and the quality. Play that again. So you hear the volume is a lot lower in the DVD version. And then you hit the 4K. Okay, so yeah, you can definitely tell a difference in the 4K upscale. Very impressed with that. So as far as Wonder Fox DVD Ripper Pro, I just love the software. Fantastic tool to back up your DVDs. Works great for copyrighted stuff that you already own, but you need a backup of. This is a very highly recommended piece of software. I teamed up with Wonder Fox to bring you this special deal. If you click the link in the top of the video description, you will actually get DVD Ripper Pro plus HD Video Converter Factory Pro, both softwares with a lifetime license for only $29.95. That's $40 off a lifetime license. You cannot beat this. Just click the link in the video description and it'll add it to the cart and give you that $40 discount. Now, tax will vary per state real quick guys what you can do with hd video converter factory pro you're going to be able to convert files edit download from youtube 
record anything from your computer screen, GIF animation, and toolbox. I plan on making a video about this soon, but you can convert up to 600 formats. That's amazing. So this is going to pair nicely with DVD Ripper Pro. Do not pass up this bundle. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and look out for more video reviews and tutorials. Have a great week, guys.